Hi guys, this is the new ADHD distortion and this is a completely new board for this year. Um, I'm really happy with the way this board has turned out. The ADHD has always been our wake style board, so this is kite low, uh, pop, uh, hard landings, the most aggressive board. But we see a pretty big trend now that uh, there's a lot of riders going towards this big air style, kite loops, let's say king of the air style. And we wanted to make the ADHD, while still being a good freestyle board, we also wanted to make it a bit more relevant for the big air riders. They do share a couple of things in common, um, both big air and uh, freestyle. You're looking for a lot of grip. You're looking for maximum grip to resist the kite to get a good takeoff. Whether that's kite low, explosive pop, or whether that's uh, sending the kite to get the maximum height, you're still looking for this really radical edge grip. And the other thing is, in both cases, there's a good chance you're going to land hard and fast. Uh, in freestyle, obviously, that's with the kite low, so you're not getting any assistance from it. Uh, and with big air, you're landing really fast after your kite loop. And in these cases, you absolutely don't want the board to generate negative flex, because when you generate negative flex, the tips at the front uh, can catch, the front fins can catch, and that's when you crash. So the trick is to find a way to make that the board doesn't flex hard on the landing, but it's still soft and easy to ride through the chop. And, and that's what we've worked really hard on with this board. The channeling here, you can see we have uh, some very pronounced channels that come through the board here. These are giving a lot of extra edge grip when you're riding. Um, and, and in fact, the closer you can get these to the edge of the board, the more grip we'll get. But clearly, we can't take them into the tail because the outline of the board doesn't let us. And that's why we have a split in these channels here. Uh, and these, these are overlapping. This means, the overlapping means that there's no change in the flex pattern in the board moving between one channel to the next, but it gives us the channels all the way through the board as close to the rail as possible. This one here is helping mostly when you're edging, and this one in the tail, this is the one that's working when you, in the last moments before you pop. The board also has a very subtle concave coming through from the tips, and this is working to uh, iron out the chop to make it smooth and comfortable and controllable all the time. So you're not looking at a board like a traditional freestyle board that is uh, very high performance for wake style, but very hard to ride in difficult conditions. This board is really, we've really worked hard that you can get maximum edge and grip and speed no matter, even when it's choppy, the board is still really fun and easy to ride. One thing uh, you should want to be aware of with this board is Normally, our boards come with a fin washer um, on the ADHD because we wanted to get this channel as close as possible to the fin. The fin screw is mounting straight into the board, not with a fin washer. As far as stance options go, you have the traditional duct 155 millimeter stance here, but if you want to ride with boots, then the inline inserts here are at six inch, which is the standard for riding in boots. So boots or straps, however you want to ride it. It's, uh, it's been a lot of fun to make a completely new board and uh, riders that have tried it till now, especially the team riders are loving it. So I think that it's uh, a much more relevant board for many more riders this year. If, you, if you're looking for wake style or king of the air style big air, then I think this is a board that might appeal to you.